Hey guys, so in this video we are gonna be looking at this algorithm known as extended Euclidean algorithm. So last time we looked at Euclidean algorithm for finding GCD. This is also kind of a similar algorithm, but there is some extension in this algorithm. So let us look at this. So Euclidean algorithm says that for GCD of two number a and b, we can write it as a into some x plus b into some y. So the goal here is to find x and y so let us look how we are going to be finding this x and y so the algorithm says that for finding this x and y you have to transform your problem a and b to a smaller problem which is b mod a comma a okay so this is what we have to do so now let us say while we have this state we can have a coefficient of x dash and y dash okay so how we can write this is we can write it as b mod a into what some coefficient x dash plus a into some coefficient y dash is equal to gcd of this b mod a comma a let us call this as g okay so we can write it as b mod a into x1 or x dash plus a into y dash equal to g okay so this is what we have right now now we know that b mod a can be written as b minus floor of a by b into a so this thing floor is from an another topic known as Donald Nut Nut Floored Division Coefficient. So this is kind of out of scope from competitive programming means out of scope of this video. If you want to look at this thing, I'll put a link in the description below. You can check it out. So how we are writing this is we know that from the remainder we can write this as so if a mod b this is what remainder and we can write when we divide a by b we can write it as a is equal to b into what the quotient and then plus remainder. So we are uh, exchanging the terms here and there and replacing this coefficient by this thing. So we'll get this form. Let me clear this page so that we can start writing more proof. Okay, so last line was B mod A is equal to B minus floored B by A into A. Okay, so this was what we had. Now what we can do next step is let us substitute this in the equation which we made like g equal to what b mod a into some coefficient x, uh, x dash or x1 plus a into some coefficient y dash. Now let us replace this. So what will we get is b minus floor of b by a into a. And this thing we are going to be multiplying with x dash plus a y dash. Okay, so now we have this equation. And initially what we had from this is that GCD of a and b is equal to ax plus by. So let us compare these equations. Let us say this is equation 1 and this is equation 2. So comparing equation 1 and 2. So on comparing this equation, what we have is here is our x dash and here is our y dash. Okay, so I am missing something, I guess. Yeah, let me check it. Okay. Okay, it is right. So we can expand our equation first and means exchanging the terms in equation one and write it in a proper form. So we can write it as 
a into y dash plus b into oh wait i'm missing something out there so this was x dash and this was a into y dash so this is right and this is also right okay so let us expand this so when we will expand this thing we will get by arranging we will get b into x dash plus a into y dash minus b by a floor into x dash so i am not showing this expansion i have less limited amount of space on this page so i am writing it directly but if you will do it yourself we will get it okay so now let us compare these equation one and two so with b we have x dash and here with b we have y so what we can write is y is equal to x dash and with a we have x here and here we have this term so x can be written as y dash minus b by a floor into x dash okay so this is our formula for finding x and y so you can note it down somewhere as it is important formula and the main thing of this algorithm is this 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 is the answer okay so now let me give you some intuition about this so you can uh, understand the code better so what we are doing is a by b we are reducing into a smaller problem of b mod a comma a okay so and here we have x and y and here we have x dash and x y dash so we are using this x dash and y dash for calculating this x and y okay as we saw in the formula so what it shows us is we can think of it as a recursive problem okay like we are saying that call for a smaller problem and after calling for a smaller problem calculate x and y for me using those formula and when i'll come here then i can calculate x and y using those formula okay so this is what the algorithm is we can calculate this using the formula so you kind of get that first you have to do a recursion and then you will get some kind of an answer from that recursion and then you have to apply the formula and now i'll show you the implementation so you can understand it better so this is the implementation let me show you the code properly okay so let us start with the main function so inside the main function we have four terms a b x and y right and we are taking a and b as input from the user now we are calculating the answer inside this extended gcd a b x and y so x and y we will get and inside the answer we will get gcd okay and we are printing the gcd and x and y so now let us come to the function itself which starts from here so we have a and b passed by value and x and y are passed by reference the reason for passing by reference is that if we won't pass this by reference these x and y will remain as it is and we won't get any values any means correct values right here we will get some garbage value so we are passing it by reference so any changes in this function will reflect back here in this main function okay so there is no copy created and the changes are in that variable right you get it okay so this thing inside if is the base case of the algorithm base case of the algorithm and this is the recursive case of the algorithm recursive case of the algorithm okay so let us look at base case so what we are doing is from a to b we are making it b mod a comma a so b so this first parameter first parameter is reducing quickly so we have to check for whether it will become zero or not in case it becomes zero what we have to do is we can assign x as zero and y as one okay 
so and then what we did in gcd was if one of the term was zero then we have to return the other term which is non zero so this thing we are doing right here we are returning b okay so this is all about the base case now let us look at the recursive case so we are defining two x1 and y1 these are kind of like our x dash and y dash will pass these x dash and y dash inside this function again means we are going for a recursive call with d mode a comma a and we are passing x1 and y1 so that we can get those value and right here we are applying that formula which was x is equal to y dash minus b by a floored division into x dash and y was equal to x dash so this is how we are doing we are saying to our function that calculate x1 and y1 for this smaller part and give it to me and i'll use that for finding x and y and we are returning the gcd right here i hope this is clear to you because we'll use this algorithm in the next topic which is linear diophantine equation so i want this uh, should be very clear to you if you have any uh, doubts you can comment in the comment section if you like the video please click the like button and subscribe to the channel thank you